<coughs> Coach said that uh, uh, Mitch is questionable for the, the Stanford game. Talk about uh, what he adds at, when he's at full strength and, and you know how you guys would have to get along without him if, if you had to. Yeah, um, you know, really for us, any Mitch is a good Mitch. You know, he brings a lot of energy to this team and a lot of passion. Um, you know, he goes out there and plays really hard. But, you know, whether or not he's able to go, you know, it's going to be up to the coaches. But, you know, we have, you know, the other guys who are going to have to step up and who are capable of making plays. You know, we got guys, John Horford, J-Mo, Max. It's just going to be an opportunity for them to step up, be the next guy up. And, you know, they're going to be big in this game. Wow. How much does all of that experience from last year really start to pay dividends now where you seem to be a little bit calmer, a little bit, uh, the, the, the lights of regular season games don't mm -hmm. bother you as much. Uh, how much does that kind of pay it forward now? No, it helps a lot. I think, you know, um, talking with other guys on the team, you know, this year compared to last year, the game's really starting to slow down a lot. Um, and just having game time experience, you know, it's it's really important, you know, especially this team. Now you got some, some guys who had a lot of minutes last year as freshmen. Um, this year it's just, it's really important to this team going forward, and we faced adversity, and we faced adversity last year, and that's all stuff that's just going to pay off in the long run. How much of that can you say to Derek, and then how much of it do you just have to go through before it starts to slow down at that rate? You know, I'm helping him as much as I can, and, you know, the coaching staff, everything. He's doing a great job with it, but there's just so much to take in as a freshman. Um, you know, such a learning curve, and he's do really doing a good job of it, um, learning and continuing to grow as a freshman point guard. Does it feel a little weird being the the veteran, I guess, at, at the point guard spot when I mean, you're just a sophomore? Yeah, but I'm I'm an old sophomore, so I'm I'm one of the old guys in the group, so um you know I'm used to it. And point guard, that's kind of what you, your job is. You know, you got to be a leader out there. How does how does he respond to when you kind of take him aside and, and talk to him about about stuff, Derek? Um, he really listens. You know, that's something I didn't know. You know, coming in, if he was gonna, if I kind of had credibility with him, but. Um, he really comes up, he asks me questions, he really looks to me for answers and, you know, makes it that much easier. Anybody have anything else? Uh, for you, how does the, the spike in minutes, well, spike in minutes, how do, <laughs> no does that affect intended. you to a, a certain point where you're used to playing maybe 14, 15 minutes and then you get a big jump like that of 28 or 30 that, is there a point that your, that your game maybe starts to elevate or that it starts to go down when you play too many minutes? Um, I don't really know. I don't really see see anything in that. I just try to stay ready because you never know how many minutes you're going to play. Um, even last year, you know, our coaches do a good job with, with all-star games and keeping guys ready um, just because you never know when your number is going to be called. Brenda? You said any Mitch is a good Mitch, but I mean, just from all these small nagging injuries that, that Coach <coughs> and I talked about, I mean, how, how limited do you think he is in, in your opinion? Um, personally, I don't know. You have to talk to Mitch, but I'm just trying to get him. I just want to get him healthy. Um, you know, I want to see him out there in pain. You know, he's got to do what's best for him. John, you'll play at a neutral site. How how important is it that you've been in the building before? That you've played there before? Um, it's 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 really important. You know, it's it's going to be a great opportunity for us. It's, you know, we're excited to get out East Coast, play in front of some fans out there, um, and we're just looking forward to the opportunity. Maybe. Uh Talking to the guys after the game Saturday, obviously disappointed in a loss, but pretty encouraged by some of the stuff uh, they saw. Or did, did you feel the same way? And, and how did uh, you guys take that kind of feeling and, and respond well this week in practice? Yeah. Your film? Um, we've had a great week of practice so far, and we've, you know, we took the loss, and we we're trying to grow from it. Um, but at the same time, we're starting to get sick of losing. So, you know, we got to start start turning things around here.